Hello and welcome to Buzz on Business. I'm Kristen Baum with Remax Crossroads. I am on the Northern Madonna County Chamber Alliance Board. And today we are here with Jenny Petri of Hospice of the Western Reserve. So welcome and thanks for being Hi, here. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Kristen. Yes, so um, I know where that's at. It's on Windfall Road Yes. in Medina. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your facility. So our, our in-house inpatient care unit is on right, Route 18 and Windfall, like you said. Um, right now we have 12 beds open for hospice patients that need to be there. And there's a vi variety of different ways that you can qualify for a stay there. And you can always reach out to us and, and we can help walk you through that process very easily. Um, and we're always available to talk if you have any questions at all. We also see patients in the community as well. So we, our Hospice of Western Reserve covers all of Northern Ohio um, and then our area here in Medina County and into Summit County, those are the areas that I'm kind of responsible for. But we see patients in their homes, we see patients at the hospital, we see patients wherever they call home, which could be an assisted living or a skilled living facility, skilled nursing facility too, so. Yeah, that's really interesting because I see the facility mm -hmm. and you think that's the only option for people. Right. But if they are aging in place and they need, they had that need for hospice care, the fact that you can actually come to them is really, really Absolutely. nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's actually probably the most part of our business that we do. We have our nurses, our social workers, our nurse, um, nurses' aides come out and nurse practitioners and they see patients wherever they call home. So you are a provider relations manager. So what does that entail? Um, so I do a lot in our community and I also help build relationships with our refer referral sources. So our local doctor's offices, we're actually part of UH hospital system. We are their hospice. So we work with a lot of their physicians' offices in the area, all physicians' offices in the area, Medina Hospital, Akron Hospitals. Um, and then we also work, again, closely with our facilities. Yeah. Um, and we have a huge uh, network of volunteers and they do a lot for us as an organization. They can do anything from clerical work to sitting with a patient at end of life. Um, so that's a big part of our community outreach. And we're non-for-profit, so we're community-based. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you told me about an award that you recently won, not like the Hospice of the Western Reserve won. Can you elaborate right. on that? Well, we are now rated um, a four-star hospice, which hospice ratings are a new, that's a new rating. Um, you, typically you rate um, nursing facilities and that kind of thing. They're rated on um, medicare.gov. You can go and look a four-star, five-star, three-star. Um, and our process is a little bit different. It's all based on customer satisfaction and would you use our hospice again? So those questions get asked to the families of our patients and um, they recommended us and we're a four-star hospice. So that's really something to be proud of. We're yes. proud of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would think so. You also mentioned earlier about um, when we were talking enrichment pro or social programs that you get can, I guess, can you yeah. elaborate on that too? <laughs> so we do a lot of bereavement programs. We have our bereavement center right there at the facility on Windfall and Route 18. Um, we also have other inpatient facilities, um, one in Cleveland and Stein Hospice, if you're all the way out west in Sandusky area, um, and then in Westlake too. And all of those facilities also have bereavement. And we have bereavement coordinators, spiritual care coordinators that work with families um, of our patients, and then also anybody in the community that needs it. You don't have to have been on our hospice services to utilize our bereavement services. So that's something we're very proud of as well. 
All right, and I want to ask you one more question. Sure. Let's talk about life's treasures in oh, Medina. Yeah. So if you like to shop, <laughs> it's kind of the coolest place to be in town. It's just south of the square, so just off of the main square. We're getting ready. I stopped by last week, and there was a little sign on the door that said, Elves at Work. So they're getting ready to put together the Christmas shop. So we absolutely cannot wait to see that. It is open year round though, so you can visit our shop anytime. You can donate to our shop if you have a dining room table or furniture or clothes or anything. Um, and it all goes back into the community or back into our hospice care for our patients in the community. Great. Yeah. If anybody needs to get a hold of Hospice of the Western Reserve, what's the best way to reach them? Definitely give us a call at 216-383-3700 and we can help guide you through any circumstance. All right, Jenny. Thanks again for Thank being you. here and um, we'll be right back. All right. Thanks. to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org.